family that we're talking about are one of the graves right here in this graveyard. There used to be a church standing right there. And now there's a different Catholic church up in the rest. This was the, the church, and this was the churchyard here where people were buried. Just on the plan the first day to have a little Irish 101. <laughs> Kill Kelly Ireland, 18 and 60, my dear. Love him, son John. Your good friend, the schoolmaster, Pat McNamara. So good as to write these words down. And your brothers have all gone to find work in England. The house is so empty inside. For the crop of potatoes is sorely infected. And a third to a half of them dead. And your sister Bridget and Patrick O'Donnell are going to be married in June. And your mother says not to work on the railroad and be sure to come on home soon. Joe Kelly Island, 18 and 70, dear. Loving sunshine. Hello to your missus and to your four children. May they grow healthy and strong. And Michael has got in a wee bit of trouble. I guess that he never will learn. And because of the dampness, there's no turf to speak of. And now there's nothing to burn. And Bridget is happy you named a child for her. You know she's got six of her own. And you say if I'm work, but you don't say what kind. But when will you be? Joe Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 80. Dear Michael and John, my sons, I'm sorry to give you the very sad news that your dear old mother's passed on. And we buried her down at the church in Kilkelly. Your brothers and Bridget were there. And you don't have to worry. She died very quickly. Remember her. And it's so good to hear that Michael's returning with money is sure to buy land. For the crop has been poor and the people are selling at any price they can. Kill Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 90. My dear and loving son John, I guess that I must be close on to eight. It's thirty years since you've gone. And because of all of the money you've sent me, I'm still living out on my own. And Michael has built himself a fine house. And Bridget's daughters all go. And thank you for sending your family picture. They're lovely young women and men. And you say that you might even come for a visit. What joy to see you Kelly, Ireland, 18 and 92, my dear brother John. I'm sorry I didn't write sooner to tell you that father's passed on. He was living with Bridget and Patrick O'Donnell. He was living with Bridget. He was strong and feisty, old man. He was a strong and feisty old man.
considering his life was so We buried him alongside a mother down at the Q. Kelly churchyard. He was a strong and ice till man, considering his life was so hard. And it's funny the way he kept talking about you. Called for you at the end. Why don't you think about coming to visit? We love to see you. Thank you. Uh, so anyway, so I, so I showed up here, right? And I went up and talked to that guy, and he was great. It was really funny. It was a little grocery store for fun. And I wanted a card that said Kill Kelly because I sang that song for years. I wanted to send it to family and stuff. And so, yeah, there's the little town. And uh, so first I went across the street to a, uh, a little shop, convenience store, and I asked the girl if they had a card. And all they had were ones that said I and stuff like that. So she said, she said, go across the street. So I went over there, and I waited my turn, and I got up to the counter, and I, <laughs> I just can remember the guy's look in his face. I went up and said, you wouldn't have a first card, would you, that says Kirk Kelly on it? And he just <laughs> looked at me, and then he got a big smile on his face. He said, so you've heard of our song, eh? <laughs> hey, you know what, John? I've been going to my mailbox for 20 years waiting for my cassette. You are going to send it to me. You're going to wait another 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>